everyone, this is Stani. So I'm going to do a uh, What's Coming For You Aries um, from your person. So this is going to be about the romantic interest you have, Aries. Now, readings could flip vice versa. So if I'm like talking about something and you're like, oh, well, that's not me, that's the person, then whatever, take what resonates. So I'm going to get right into this. If you want a personal reading, my information is below. So let's see. What is coming towards you romantically, Aries? Let's see. Wisdom. So, Aries, I get that you're dealing with somebody who is very mature. I get that the person coming towards you in love has really thought about things. And there's going to be changes and the sun is going to come out. And this is really um, ruled by the heavens. Okay? This relationship is divinely orchestrated. This is a deep connection. And I get that your person and you, Aries, have really reflected about what you want in life. And you want a family. So in the past, Aries, you or the person that you're dealing with, there was some type of deception involved. But what I'm picking up, Aries, is um, a lot of you were dealing with an illusion, in a sense, where like you thought somebody was one way and you realize that they're not okay and i feel like you aries are going towards this person because you're going to have a conversation with them to tell them that you know in the past because i don't feel like this is a new connection you're dealing with somebody that you already been dealing with aries you're going to have a conversation about all the envy all the jealousy all the you know sneaky behavior aries now some of this, Aries, this is your energy, okay? But like I said, this is a general reading, so this is going to be like a certain percentage of you. But I really feel like whoever you're dealing with, um, there was some type of deception involved that broke your union, okay? But now you both are going to come back together, you know, in a perfect harmony and there's going to be a reconciliation here and you're going to work on this relationship and you both have a very deep connection Aries so like I said um six of cups energy this is not a new union Aries so whoever is coming towards you you already dealt with them I feel Now, if this isn't resonating, then there's like thousands and billions of Aries. Um, the message isn't for you. So let's see. What is coming towards my Aries in love? This is also a timeless video. So whenever you come to it, the message will resonate. Now, Aries, some of you were in codependent situations. Some of you were dealing with substance abuse or the person you were dealing with. Aries, you're going to move forward past this energy and you're going to have this honeymoon with this person and you're gonna start flirting with them and you're going to get back to this calm energy. You're gonna leave all the chaos behind and you're gonna to be together. Okay, Aries? So I'm just gonna do a few more cards. See what is coming towards my Aries in love. I don't like making my readings long because people don't have time for that. <laughs> so I like get straight to the point. New York way. I am from New York. We like it quick and fast. So Aries, what's going on here? What is going on with my Aries? Let's see. 
So be careful what you say, Aries. Um, this person you feel might be moving on, but you're going to get a surprise, okay? You might be dealing with someone that has curly black hair, you know, for some of you, and you haven't seen this person in a while. There's going to be a decision made, and Aries, this person really, really loves you, okay? So this person that you're dealing with, Aries, loves you a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, I mean, they want to marry you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, Aries. So there was some type of fight in the past, some type of disagreement, but you're going to ignore um, everybody. And there's going to be a permanent loss with this nasty energy, okay? And you probably felt like this person wasn't going to talk to you anymore, okay? And I also feel, Aries, you're going to ignore everybody. You're going to talk to this person. Um, and I also get that whoever you're dealing with is talking to their friends about you. They feel bad because they want to work things out, Aries. All right? So what else does my Aries need to know? This person, okay, there's going to be plans made. And very soon, something's going to happen. You're going to find something out, Aries. But I feel like, you know, a lot of you, you're going to be the one initiating some type of communication to this person, Aries. Um, for others of you, this person is gonna be the one initiating. So just take the message as it resonates. So if you're a male, Aries, you're gonna be initiating plans with a female. That's what I'm getting. But if you're a female, Aries, the person's going to be initiating to you, all right? So I get that, you know, there's going to be a trip involved. So the person you're dealing with is kind of depressed, Aries, and they're going to be taking some type of trip to visit you. Now, this literally could mean you live like an hour away from each other by transportation. Um, trip doesn't necessarily mean like a long trip. It just means that you guys don't live like next door to each other, okay? So what else is coming from my Aries in love? So Aries, this person felt like you were dealing with somebody that was materialistic or, you know, this could be your energy. But I get Aries that this person is highly intuitive and they're like being guided back to this connection so they're aware that this is like a deep connection aries and the person you're dealing with is really really thinking deeply about you there's going to be action like i said taking so it's either you or the other person but there's going to be action taken and there's going to be a new cycle there's going to be a new beginning and there's a karmic cycle that ended for you Aries and right now you're trying to have strength and courage to get through this situation all right so I hope you enjoyed my reading bye